Yo. Now the third way to rig is using bones, uh, which is using the skeleton layer. And I, ha I have tutorials on this, um, but I'm going to go into it nonetheless inside of this tutorial. So let me undo all of that. Now the thing to note when you're using bones, the folder structure cannot be like this. Okay. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. By the way, um, you might want to put all of these within a folder so, so that it doesn't affect like the background layer. Okay, but I didn't do that, but just make sure that you, when you're done, you put all of your, your initial folders within one overall um, folder to lock them in. Okay, um, so, the, oh, also something that I forgot to say is that, let's go over into the properties. Whenever you have a shape within a folder notice that let's say you want to click on the shape right and see the controls you can accidentally click on the shape layer itself and then you might accidentally move the shape right so what i recommend is that on the go on the folder and click on lock selection okay so what that does is when let's say i want to click on the foot and you click on the foot it doesn't go into the folder it click it goes on the the the, um, the folder layer itself okay so that you won't accidentally go in here but of course you can still open the folder and select the the shape if you want all right so keep that in mind uh so yeah so let's go ahead and use the bones to rig so let me undo that let me delete this yeah so now um, when using the bones we can we absolutely cannot have the same structure here um, because bones work differently. We, we need to have each shape um, on their own layer laid out and then the bone would be on top of those layers. Okay, so let me show you how to do that or what I mean. So let me drag this out of that. I'm going to drag this foot layer and the, well, let me just hold on shift, right click cut and paste them to get them out of that folder. And then we are gonna go inside here, take this um, upper leg and paste it here, right? And let me just delete this one. Okay, so basically we've gone back to the initial folders that we had before, which is just the shapes and their group layers. Okay, so one, two, three. So when using the bones, you absolutely have to have them like this. You can't group this one within this, um, you know, because you, you will get some weird results. Of course, there, there are exceptions to this, um, depending on the complexity of the rig. But um, when you're creating something like this, this is how we would um, rig it. So I'm gonna right click and just go to new layer, other and skeleton. So add that bone, right? So add it above all the other layers. And of course, you already know how to rig using the skeleton. But I'm again, I'll, I'll go into that again. So let me click on the skeleton bone. I'm going to rotate this by 90, minus 90 degrees. <clears throat> I'm going to move this down. Maybe there, right click, create child bone. And I'm going to click on the lower leg to see where I'm supposed to line up the second bone. So the point is here. Let me hold on control and click on the skeleton. Let me zoom in. So we know that the bone, this part here is supposed to go over this part. So let me zoom all the way in while moving this closer. Zoom, zoom, zoom. All right. And the reason why you go all the way in is because you want to make sure that it goes exactly or close to the point as possible. So let me just move the bone over here. Okay, and that looks okay to me. And let me zoom out. And then let me move this down. And right click, insert. Oh, let me click off of these. Click back on the skeleton, right click the bone, create child bone, uh, click on the foot just to see where that point is, and then hold on control, select the skeleton, zoom in, and 
you know make sure that the point goes all the way over on top of that so zoom all the way in i think that's where it stops then snaps it into place the foot always <laughs> snaps into place for some reason but the others don't uh but that is okay so let me can rotate this by maybe 90 degrees and uh let me put this out and remember you can hold on shift to keep it straight let me zoom out okay um so let me put all of these within one folder and we can call this leg or legger let's give it a nickname legger <clears throat> okay yeah so uh now it's time to rig so let me click on the upper leg i'm going to go hold on the control click on the skeleton and just a refresher if you don't want to go back to the rigging tutorial uh you would to rig you would click on any one of the control points on the folder while these are the both of them are selected and then you'll sl select um click on any of the control points on the the bone well you would actually right click and click link to bone okay so i'm going to do that again click on the lower leg hold on control click on the skeleton layer click any of the points on the the arm um, folder and then right click on the leg and click link to bone okay i'm going to do that for the foot real quick click on the control point any right click any point on the bone here link to bone all right, so if I click on the skeleton and move, you can see that it is now rigged. And those are the three different ways to rig. One, using folders. Two, using transforms. And three, using bones. So either way works um, really well. It, it's based on your needs, whatever you want to accomplish. So let's keep that in mind, right? Just choose one and work with it. Also, you can use a combination of all three, right? If you know what you're doing. So there's also that, right? Uh, oh, for this one, we wouldn't be able to create sets um, because it's one single skeleton with three different bones. So if you created a set, it would only be for the, the overall bone structure here, okay? Um, so you can't create like a set for each individual bone unless we created three separate bones and then um, parented them to the different parts respectively, right? That's the only way you could create three separate sets for the three different bones. So that's it for this tutorial. Hope you learned something new and I will see you in the next one. Yo. Yeah.